Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this, I'm going to show you Apple's little, I shouldn't say secret, but Apple's key to helping you out, but kind of hiding an, a tutorial directly in there. So if you don't, if we're not helping you out enough and you have some basic questions that need answered right away, I'm going to show you a couple different tri uh, tricks that Apple has up its sleeves. Is the question mark tool. I showed you this kind of before, barely touched on it, but see how it's got the four little things that pop up and off and on when I hit the question mark? And see how each one tap a spreadsheet's name to change it. Oh, okay. I wanted to, let's say I wanted to change. Oops, I actually opened that up. But let's say I wanted to change what this said. So instead of blank four, I can click just all I did was just tap directly on blank four. And see how it kind of lightly lit up when I tapped it? And then you could just pick test for a video. Done. Then it's saved as test for video. So let's go into there again. Or let's show you this. So see how the one up here, the share on there, the share link. See how it's got an arrow that points to the right. That means you can actually hit that, and it's going to bring up more information. And so then it brings up this little window here, and it's going to give you more information. So oh, share a link, uh, share an iCloud link. What does that mean? So then it kind of goes through and shows you a little bit more uh, of how that works. Then you can go ahead and click done. So let's go actually go into one of these again. Let's go back to my test for video. And then you go ahead and click that, that question mark again. Same thing happens. Change the appearance like I was explaining with the paintbrush tool. Add tables, charts, and other objects with the plus sign. Learn more about using numbers down here on the left. Click that. And now you can sw swipe right to for each topic. So let's say, let's say you wanted to go, like, man, I'm just having trouble editing in the format of text. So you can click that bar. And then it's like, OK, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to add, select text, copy and paste? align text, find and replace text. Um, you're like, well, maybe I don't need that. Maybe I just wanted adjusting or I just want to learn the overview of how to add images. If you, we didn't help you out in the video, this is another way to do it. So, okay, so if you tap the plus button, then tap the button of the type of object you want to add. And you can swipe left or right, like I was explaining, for more styles. That's what the little dots on the bottom mean. You can then you tap the paintbrush tool to change the style, how it looks, all that good stuff. And then it also brings up a couple of things. So if you needed to rotate or flip an object, you can go and click that, and it brings up the next section. Or let's say you're not sure how to do something. Let's say I would like change, let's say format. So let's say or like okay, well that's not really what I'm looking for. What about like I need to change something to currency? How did I do that? So format table cells, maybe it's under there. So you can click that, and then it says like you can also choose how many decimal places appear in a cell contain for numbers, currency units, or percentage values. So that's units of monetary value. See how I typed in currency? So you can go on there and really cheat with that the magnifying glass, or you can click on uh, little bullet points, and it's going to bring back to getting started, editing numbers, all that good stuff. And so that's basically it for the question mark. And you can also get it to under under the settings tool. You can click on the help button, and it's going to bring you back under there as well. So there's a couple of different ways to get to the point for helping. And a lot of the times we're going to go over a majority of the stuff that you're going to need. But if there's something specific that we haven't covered in these in this book on these videos, then definitely check out this section before you spend all the time searching over the web because Apple's a Apple's a great company in terms of giving you everything you need right at your fingertips so you don't have to look elsewhere. And especially helpful if you were traveling and you didn't have internet access, this would be the best way to do it. So that's it for the help section. If you guys have any questions, we're definitely here to help. Email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com and click the help tab. Thanks.